Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to look at solving quadratic equations by graphing and we're going to be using the graphing technology. Um, I'm going to show you two methods. I'm going to show you using the TI-84 uh, and I'm also going to show you using my favorite Desmos. Um, example one, the flight time for a long distance water ski jumper depends on the initial velocity of the jump and the angle of the ramp. For one particular jump, the ramp has a vertical height of 5 meters above water level. It's the height of the ski jumper in flight, HT. Uh, this is just notation, right? Uh, in meters, so height uh, for meters as a, uh, as a function of time. Uh, over time, t in seconds can be modeled by the following function. Okay? So when you're doing this on your graphing technology, uh, you can write this in um, standard form, all right? General form. So um, in your calculator, what you want to do is going to look like this. It's going to be... Uh, and I'll do this in the red. I'm just going to show you punches in your graphing technology. So it'll be y uh, equals, and again, I like to put it in order, but it doesn't matter. You can put it in as uh, 5 plus 24 decimal 4, 6 x minus 4 decimal 9 uh, x squared. All right? So uh, you can write it like that. And I'm just showing you what your calculator would look like, right? Okay? And you can put it like that, or you can put it in uh, AX squared plus BX plus C mode like with the X squared first, but it doesn't make a difference, okay? But that's what you're going to enter in your graphing technology. So it looks like, how, we're looking for how long uh, does the water skier jump holding this pose, so when it lands back in the water. So this is actually going to be the time intercept or the X intercept. So we're going to graph this on our graphing technology, all right? Remember, when you're using your graphic technology, if you want to uh, quickly if you want to click the clear your screen back to the factory setting, which I do recommend because you don't know what the calculator before you, you're going to hit second function plus seven, one all RAM, two reset, and it says RAM clear and hit OK. So that's second function plus seven, one, two. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enter in Y equals here. Remember, there you had it in function form. We're going to write it in um, the... Uh, y equals, right, because that's what our calculator shows, so it was 5, you don't have to put 5 decimal 0, you can put 5, plus 24 decimal 4, 6, uh, x, t is, uh, represents your x, right, sorry, I hit the wrong button there, my apologies, 24 decimal 4, 6, x minus 4 decimal 9, x squared. Remember, if you start a function, an equation, with an, it has to be a negative here, but if it's within here, you can just hit subtract, okay? And we're going to graph this. And it doesn't look like a quadratic. It looks like two linear lines. That's because we've got to create the window. So I'm going to do some practice on the window. So obviously we don't need any negative y or x. Right? So negative y or x, we don't need that. So we're going to get that rid of that. And this obviously goes a little higher than 10. Because this is go, shows 10 and negative 10. Right? And then we can get rid of some of this to make it even uh, nicer. So you just play with the window. I'm going to teach you how to do that as we go through examples. Hit window, uh, x max 0, we're not going to have negative time. Uh, remember, it only needs to go to 5 or 6, so I'm going to put 6 here, try that. The scale is how many blocks, so if uh, I have a max of 6 and the scale is 1, that means you're going to see, uh, you'll see the lines at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. The y is 0, and again, I'm not sure what the y max is going to be, so I'm going to try 25. All right, scale, I'll go up by 5. Right? So we won't have 25 uh, lines, right, on the y-axis. It'll only be 5. It'll be 5, 10, 15, 20. And we'll graph this. Hit graph again. So we still need a little bit higher. So I'll just hit window again. Go down to my y-max. Make it higher. I'll make it 50. Right? And I graph it. And perfect. There's my graph. So this means that the x-axis is going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was my scale of 1. And I went as far as 6. Here, I'm going up by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So there is my uh, graph. And if I want to find the maximum, this is a maximum because it is open downward. I want to find the maximum. So I hit second function, calc. I go down to option 4, or just hit the number 4, hit enter, or 4. That'll be the maximum. Left bound, you just keep going to the left side until you're clearly on the left side of the vertex, which is the maximum value, right? Maximum point, maximum value for the y, right? 
and then go over using your right cursor. Just go right, right, right until again you're just on the right side of the uh, vertex. Hit uh, enter, hit enter for a third and final time, and there it is. So your maximum uh, x is time, y is the height in meters. So that means that it says how long uh, does the water skier hold this figure in the pose for? So that is the maximum value. Didn't ask for that. They want to know how far. So this is the, uh, uh, they hit the jump, right? Up the ramp, up in the air, coming back down, boom, back to the water, right? It's a little higher because uh, when you hit the jump, it uh, was high. Now, again, these are some uh, large numbers here. Um, a five meter jump that's uh, starting off, it's pretty, uh, pretty high. But um, nonetheless, we're looking for this point here. So this is what we did in the, in the last chapter. We found the maximum, all right? So that's if you wanted to find the maximum height or the time at where is the maximum value. You want to find the, uh, the answer to the question, how long is the water here? It's going to be when the, the, uh, the back on the water, right? So this is the whole trip here, boom, and we have the time, all right? So this is the time axis. This doesn't mean, this is not really the path, uh, and you got to get your head wrapped around that. This is time, right? Okay. And um, some of them have horizontal and vertical distance, but not here. So we're going to get this. Here we go. Second function, calc. And we're looking for what's called a zero. Zero is like your um, uh, the x-intercept for what we want here. So we hit uh, two or enter. We go right, 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 all the way down until we're left of the uh, value of x. Now go right down until we're underneath. So it disappears. Hit enter. Hit enter for, th for third and final time. So that means that the water skier has uh, been holding the flight pose for five decimal one eight nine seconds. And uh, usually it'll say into a tenth of a uh, second. So you round that to five decimal to a little bit set. Okay. So let's uh, show that on our uh, on our sheet. So in method one, we use the using the GI4 calculator. Okay. So we did first, and again, you can watch the video for all the steps, and that's what we end up with. So that means that. And you can write a statement with your answer to ask the question, how long does the water skier jumper hold the flight pose? Does the water skier, water skier holds the pose for five decimal two seconds? Normally what I'll do is I'll round the one place after the decimal, the tenth place, if it doesn't say otherwise. Sometimes it will tell you, um, but if not, I usually round the one place after the decimal. Now I'm going to do this in Desmos. You're going to love it. Desmos is fantastic. You can write the function in as you see it. Um, all right. So method two, two, which is also using technology, but using the Desmos technology. Okay. And that's found at, remember, desmos.com. Okay. Great program. I love it. So here, what we would do is we draft it. I'm going to do that on the Desmos program, all right? So I'll show you how that works. So we open up our uh, desmos.com. You can literally write the function as in, you can use it as HT. It's, it's pretty neat. 5 decimal 0 plus 24 decimal 4 6 t uh, minus 4 decimal 9 t squares. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, there's your graph. You just move it around, right? Um, so if you want to make your graph a little, uh, like it's kind of squished, right? It's kind of narrow. If you want to make it a little wider, just go up to the tool. All right, go up to the tools. Um, I know you can't see it on your screen, sorry. Go up to the tools here in the top right hand corner and you can just do your x axis right. So I'll go right here, I'll go negative 10, or I'll go negative uh, 3, 
and then make the six. So you can see that it's spread it out, right? Perfect. And then um, it's going up like 10 is perfect right now. So that's a perfect graph, right? So there's that vertex we looked at before that we got, and there's the other point. You just click on it. Desmos, so smooth, easy to use. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to take a picture of that. So uh, here I did the Desmos program, uh, as I showed you on the graph. So um, some important points, 0 and 5, that's the y-intercept. This is the maximum value that we learned in 7.2, and this was the answer to the question of how long they were in the air. Okay? And the flight path, flight pose, 5 decimal 2 seconds. All right? So again, it would answer the question. The, the answer is the same, just a different technology. Right? Answer the same, different technology. So again, I showed you in the video how to use these, right? So um, if you're just looking at the notes and that's it, it might be difficult, right? So just be mindful of that. So that's it for uh, today's video. And uh, tomorrow, in the next video, in Part B, we'll look at how to determine the, uh, the x-intercepts of this quadratic equation. We'll verify your answers. I'll show you how to do that graphing as well um, on both technologies, of course. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you have any questions, please ask, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.